So, this is going to be an informative video. So, dear Command and Conquer's rival Silver League players, are you stuck in Silver League? I don't know who, who would be, but I don't discriminate against people who are. If you're stuck in Silver League, I got a super OP strat for you guys. Check out this deck. Flame troops, lasers, militants, bikes, tanks. Flame tank. Make sure you have the flame tank. This, this is probably not going to work if you don't have a flame tank. This is going to be sick. Slick. You have no idea what I'm going to do. Watch this, guys. This will get you out of Silver League really fast. It'll probably get you out of Silver League in like 30 minutes if you do this every single game. So first of all, you want to put your uh, finger above the War Factory because you want to spam the War Factory ASAP. Scorpion Rush. So this is a strategy people do against me in Tiberium League. Where people think it's clever when you just rush somebody with a scorpion tank. Well, guess what? You could do it in lower leagues, too. And you, you just spawn a bike. See, look at that. Double harvester into my rush. I'm gonna get cash money up in here. Am I a bad person for doing this? I don't think so. I think feel like I'm just taking advantage of um, the situation here. Plus, you're playing Seth, so if you need infantry... Just summon that. This is fast games. Fast, quick wins guaranteed. Now I got a flame tank coming towards this base. I mean, you don't even have to worry about the missile. Who cares about the freaking missile point? Oop, the DC. Uh oh. Looks like somebody didn't like getting wrecked. See, oh, look how fast that game was. Honestly guys, this ain't a prank, this ain't a joke. This will get you fast wins. Just scorpion tank, rush every game. The thing is though, there isn't really much counters to it in the lower leagues. Because people have the uh, rifleman opener, the shock troop opener, or the uh, missile tr troop opener. If they open up with rhinos or pitbull, they're toast. If they open up with Rhino or Pitbull or freaking bikes, militants, flame troopers, they're toast. The only re the only way they could stop this rush is if they um oh yeah this is done. The scorpion tank GG. Let's get already one. The only way they could stop this if they make freaking um missile troops. Yeah, missile troops there first. So. After after I take out the harvester, I'm going to um yeah. I'm gonna retreat my tank back. No, do not make a harvester in this build. That that's the mistake you can you can make. And so you want to keep pressing your dominance because you don't have to gather Tiberium yourself if every harvester you take out gives you a hundred. Oh, I thought I had enough for a flame tank. Never mind. Looks I didn't. I will have enough for a flame tank. I'm gonna rush his base with it. See, this is what happens when he re they react accordingly. So, just because I didn't completely shut this guy out of the game, because you know what, he reacted a accordingly, he, he, he made the missile troops really fast. But, if, if, if they, they don't make, make missile troops as their first unit, they're, they're just absolutely shut out of the game. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Unfortunately, that stinking orca is blocking my flame tank. Let's take some butt. Burn him alive. For the brotherhood, what can I say? Honestly, guys, you're going to be hated by your fellow Silver League comrades by doing this because, you know, cheesing is frowned upon. I frowned upon cheese, but eh. Honestly, I just want to get some fast games. I have to make some scorpion tanks. You know, my bounties make scorpion tanks. I'm choosing people with scorpion tanks. Killing two birds with one stone. 
This does not work on GDI because the reason for that is the Predator tank is so much slower than the Scorpion tank is that by the time the Predator gets towards the Harvester, they have appropriate time to react to it. I'm pretty sure this can work in higher leagues too. It could work in gold, probably platinum and diamond. What I wouldn't try it though, I wouldn't try it in Tiberium League because in Tiberium League, pe people are smart enough to know how to react. Look, he's bike rushing me. What the scrub? Why are you bike rushing me, bro? Everybody knows the tank rush is superior. You can't just rush me and then switch to a harvester. Oh man, we can get outplayed. I'm gonna save for my flame tank. Oh wait, never mind. Flame tank's expensive. Never mind then, I thought it was going to be cheaper than that. Okay, that's tanky. I'm getting, getting away from that. I'm glad he did that because I, I, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have been, been able to afford anything otherwise. Yes, I can afford my flame tank now. Time to end the game. Bye bye. Okay. Double harvester? Okay. Honestly, guys. You, you may say that I'm having extra success with this cheesy build because I micro really well. And that's true because I'm actually the rank 1 player smurfing on a, on a new account. But this strategy works. Fast wins? How can you argue with that? I'm going to skip these packs because I'm really just demonstrating a new build. <clears throat> Yay, confesses. Anyways, one more game. So, um, let me know what you guys think. Honestly, I don't feel good che cheesing people, but eh, I don't want to spend as much time on this account, to be honest. So, I just want to showcase a, a, a cheese strategy that people do against me. Because honestly, I have the reputation for War Factory builds. War Factory builds are prone to rushes that are strong against vehicles. When you start infantry, there's a lot less you have, to, you have to worry about. The thing is, I can't do bikes here, because with bikes, eh, I guess I'll do it anyway. Oh! Okay. This time I get I get F'd. Okay. Okay. Like with every strategy, that doesn't work 100% of the time, so... I'm gonna be lucky if I get the harvester. That kind of makes my build, my uh, cheese strategy look a lot worse now. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is honestly this this was the uh, first time I didn't just automatically win with with the scorpion tank. So uh, results may vary, but if you but if you're stuck in server league and you don't know what to do, I don't know anybody would, but uh, try try it out. It's it's neat. Mm. See how I, I still, e e even though Even though I've taken out his harvesters, I'm still not making a harvest of my own Because it, it, it is a, a rush strategy, I'm bum rushing him Uh oh. 
Hey. I'm not even sure if I'm still gonna win. Yep, I did it. Yeah. So I hope you guys in, in, enjoyed enjoyed my video of me being a jerk to the Silver League players, but eh. at least I gave you guys some some a new strategy to try out. Honestly, it it works more often than I than, than I, I haven't lost with it yet. But here's some other re replays of me rushing people with it. Cause honestly. The majority of people, if they don't know how to react, because I can't assume this this happens a lot. Most people start off with with, with double harvester in, in these leagues because you know when you're playing Nod, you're facing other people who just unlocked Nod. So they're they're probably going to do double harvester because they're, they're not really really f familiar with with what's going on, and you're going to catch them off guard. On some maps, it's easier than others. Like, this map was particularly hard because the uh, Tiberium was... There was a rock in front of the Harvester, so... It, it was the defended that way. But... There, there's some other rushes you can do. There, there's like... There's a rush where you, you skip the Harvester, make the Hand of Nod, and go straight for the uh, la laser troops. These are just, just examples. Of the tank rush. Like, do not tank rush this map. This map is huge, where it takes lots of time for the U U units to go through. Mm. Mm. So, if you guys liked my video, please subscribe to my YouTube. I'm pushing for a uh, YouTube partner, which requires a thousand subs on, on, on my YouTube. Then I'll be able to, like, um... To be honest, if I was a YouTube partner, I'd actually post... More more videos on a regular basis. Also, I created a Twitter. The link is going to be in the uh, description below. I also have a Discord and a Facebook page. You can follow those if you like. And um, if you're not, subscribe to my Twitch. And um, I think that's pretty much it. I guess add me. You can you can, you can add me on Discord. I'm I, I'm really re 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 responsive to my fans. Let me know if you have any questions, and um, I hope you guys have a good one.